Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Common, and well, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays everyone. Today is officially Christmas, well at least the day I'm recording this video, and instead of continuing with our Spain campaign, I decided today to just kind of do a one-off, do something really crazy. So, I was inspired by our AI-only championship series, uh, and I basically did the same thing with our AI-only championship series, if you're not watching it, where I was like, you know what, I want to screw with the XML files, because we've been tweaking uh, some settings in there, just a little bit, and so I've got a little more confident with actually trying to tweak some of the game settings and so uh, what I ended up doing was actually triggering apocalypse mode starting from turn one so instead of like waiting to like 275 or something like that whenever you know uh, the environment gets so bad I was like screw it let's actually play the game with apocalypse mode going crazy on turn one and so that's what we actually have going here having watched the AI played it for a while playing it for a while I was like you know what I kind of want to hop in there and actually play it myself because this looks like a whole freaking butt ton of fun so there's a lot to talk about, uh, all the different settings I did and all that stuff. Like, this isn't a mod or anything like this. This is literally me going in there and changing the XML files. I'm not a developer. I know literally nothing about game development, but I kind of know enough about the game development, uh, or at least some of the XML files that I can kind of start making some, uh, 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 I'd say good decisions about how to actually mod the game or change the game to make it uh, fun. So what we ended up doing, like I said, is we triggered Apocalypse Mode to go from turn one. Now, we don't get the weird effects. None of that's happening, but all the disasters and everything are, are going crazy as if it was uh, actually the Apocalypse Mode. So that's good to know. Now, one thing to note, you might not know this about Apocalypse Mode, and I actually didn't know this until I started adjusting some things. But when you get to Apocalypse Mode, one of the reasons that you see so many comments is because the comments, uh, the frequency of them are cranked way up, obviously, but then every other disaster is basically reduced to like the minimum amount. I can go into all the numbers and all that stuff, but it really, it gets a little too complex, but essentially what I ended up doing is, like, since I decided to start changing some things, we just decided to start changing everything, and so ultimately what I did is I ended up setting all of the normal disasters to, like, their pre-apocalypse mode setting, because essentially there's two different settings when you're playing apocalypse mode. There is, like, the game, uh, the setting of the disasters up until apocalypse mode once everything goes crazy and the screen goes red, and then there's the settings post. So all the normal disasters Disasters all have their settings back to their default and then what I ended up doing is I ended up toning down the meteors a little bit because we saw in our AI only series especially because there's two different types of comets not meteors rather comets but there's two different kind of comet uh, strikes there's the targeted one and there's the non-targeted one the non-targeted one is the one that does four tiles that one cannot hit a city but the targeted ones can hit a city what was happening in our AI only series is essentially all the AI were just like losing all their cities just like non-stop. It was freaking hilarious. But that also kind of like makes the game like very much down to whoever just the RNG gods favor the most. So basically I toned them down just a little bit. So they're not quite as crazy, um, but they still like, I would still say the meteors are probably still going to be like 70 maybe 60 percent of all the natural disasters other thing is we we're just kind of going through the settings and i saw that there was a turn timer for the uh forest fires and so i basically bumped it so now instead of burning for two turns they're supposed to burn for 10 turns because you know why not um i have no idea what that looks like because we never saw any forest fires in our um yeah i only series because it was all comets Sorry, my voice is really tired because I've been doing a lot of recording today mixed with playing with the dog and all that stuff. But anyways, okay, so then what else did we change? So, oh, here's the other thing to get into. I know we're getting to a long explanation, but I just kind of want to explain all this before we get into. So one of the things is every time a comet falls, it creates what's called the crater lake, and it's the impassable terrain that you can't walk over. So today I was like, you know what, screw it. Let's actually change it so you can actually walk over the terrain. So I made the impassable terrain passable. What that ended up doing is it basically kind of created like this coastline, but it was was really weird because it was actually registering as like water but it wasn't registering but it was actually like it looked like water but it was registering as land so the AI was still like settling on top of it and it was like that's not right and so then I spent a whole bunch of time trying to figure out like how do I restrict the AI from settling on it and then it occurred to me that it's not actually so and I didn't know this as well but the comet lake is actually not a terrain type what it is is it's actually a feature uh, so basically it's the same thing as like all the different wonders and essentially the features sit on top of the terrain so essentially you got your normal terrain which is like desert hills water or yeah water uh, grassland all that stuff and then the features are things like you know all the resources that sit on top of them the I think the mountains are features I would assume so I actually don't know that they might be terrain but anyways all that stuff sits on top 
So the reason that this was happening is it was basically still registering as land even though uh, I made the terrain passable. So what I ended up having to do is I ended up having to go back into the original XML files for the base game. I looked actually at Crater Lake, which is one of the natural wonders to begin with the game. And I basically stole all the XML settings from that and put it onto the features for the Comet Lake. So now when the Comets strike, what they do is they create what's called a crater, uh, which actually it looks like coast now. It actually is, describes itself as coast. It still gets the buff though. It's still gets two uh, science and two faith which originally is what uh, the um so actually in the XML files, it actually has, uh, when the comets strike, it's supposed to give the tile to faith and to science, but because they make it impassable, essentially you never get to work it and it just shows up as like a nothing tile. So that I guess just shows me that originally they were actually gonna balance it so you can maybe enter the tiles or at least it was supposed to have yields to begin with. But anyways, now it shows up like Coast that basically has two additional faith and uh, two additional uh, 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 science. Now, it works like ocean or like coast, so basically you can't put a city in it. It's basically impossible to put a city in it, and most units have to actually embark to get in it. Now, the only weird thing that I couldn't figure out, at least I just didn't spend enough time with it, is if roads are actually created over the top of it, it actually appears like units can still pass through it, like the roads don't get destroyed. So they're apparently a whole nother layer, and I'm not entirely sure how to actually make the comets destroy the uh, roads as well. So, you know, that's one of the crazy things, but, you know, for the most part, it works out. I think it's going to be fine. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is we're not going to see a lot of the comets drop early on because we're just not going to have a lot of vision early game. So it is what it is. So we're going to play as Coupe. I want to play as Coupe because he just has like, well, A, he spawns in the ocean, so he's not going to get hit by a comet. That's actually the other thing I ended up doing is I did this a while ago, probably about a week ago with our AI only championship series, is I also changed the settings on the comets. So the comets actually strike uh, coast tiles, not just the ocean tile. So if you're playing on a map that has less, uh, uh, water or more land and less land more water my brain's just gone then it's less punishing because what would happen is it's like if you just have a very thin snaky uh, map essentially those comets are just going to constantly destroy cities so it's kind of like ah so it's a slightly less punishing I'll just throw that out there so I want to play fractal because I enjoy fractal I think it's a good map we'll play on standard size we'll leave everything the same we're going to do balance in the start um might want to go on low sea level and I think I am, just because the comments are going to start destroying everything. <laughs> so that should be interesting. And we're going to play with all the game modes on, because psh, I am psychotic. And if we're going to go full chaos mode, let's go full chaos mode. So uh, we want abundant resource. I think everything else is good to go. So I think with that, let's go ahead and load in the game. So, oh yeah, we're not playing AI only. So let's actually show the load in. <laughs> now... In our AI only series, we actually had Babylon destroyed on turn three because one of the targeted comets struck uh, their only city at that point. So there's a very good likelihood that we might just straight die here at some point very early in the game. So, you know, this is just gonna be very much a one-off. Tomorrow we'll be back with Spain as normal, probably, maybe. I don't know if I have enough time, but um, depending on how we enjoy this, we might just keep this series going as well. Cause you know, why not? Like it, it just, this seems like an entertaining way to play the game. Just come pure chaos mode. Uh, in a way that like just doesn't exist in the game yet now one thing we're thinking about in our AI only series is I think we got to play the game completely different I don't think the AI is gonna be able to play the game particularly well because they're just not gonna be able to respond to losing their cities I think one thing we want to do is we want to start settling as many cities as humanly possible as quickly as possible maybe at the expense of other things just because it's like if we don't have cities and if our only city gets destroyed, we're just like GG'd. So I will go ahead and start exploring out and see what we find. It looks like uh, we do have coast this way. I don't know. I don't know, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, yes, we do have coast over here. Okay, so uh, Coupe. We've not played Coupe as well. Let's talk about him. Begin the game, Ocean Tile, gain a free builder and one population when settled in your first city. Palace gives three housing, one amenity, two science, two culture, and mana. Begin the game with sailing, shipbuilding, blah, blah, blah. Embark units gain two movement. Cool. Unimproved woods and rainforest get plus one production. And then uh, more as it goes on. Fishing boats give one food and culture bombs. And then we got the Toa, which replaces the swordsman, and is awesome. And then we get a unique building to the Mare. And then we also get the Pa. Okay, which is basically just a fort. So where do we want to go? I kind of immediately like this just for the harbor. We're going to go right there and just see what we can find. And then I am good just like settling or moving you over here and seeing what we can find as well. Now we're kind of hoping that there's no AI over here. 
Um, I didn't actually choose my research. Let's go uh, mining right away. We got a lake there. Interesting. Hmm. Would you rather have the fresh water or would you rather have the harbor? Also, we want to settle there, not there, Brian. <laughs> Duh. Good job, Brian. Good job. Good job. Um, let's just keep going this way then. Didn't we do high land or low sea level? All right, there's a lot of sea. I was not expecting this much sea. Also, though, good to note two goody huts right next to us. Now, this doesn't get us the diamonds as quickly. Now, the Plains Hill makes us a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, if we settle here, these are going to become 1-3s. That one becomes a 2-2. Two -two. This is actually a 1-4, which is kind of crazy. Hmm... This is kind of crap. Like, this is not a good spot, just to be straight up honest with you. But I kind of dig the d double fishing boats. And I just keep going over here in my mind. And we can always canal into here eventually, too. I think we're going to go right there. Mm, okay. Looks like the coast kind of loops around a little bit. I don't know if that's good or bad yet. Should we figure that out before we settle? Maybe. But to be honest, no. So just give me the city here. Okay. So, I want to go grab these while I can. Um, we will grab a warrior right away, and then from there, we're just going to go straight to settlers. Because the one nice thing to note, uh, and by the way, we hadn't seen anything yet, but a uh, forest fire unrevealed. Okay, and those should last for 10 turns, theoretically. Theoretically. Uh, what's actually the percentage chance? Do we see this? 12, 22, 0, 7, 0. Interesting. Why are these 0%, I wonder? I wonder if they go up as, oh, you know what? I think they're based on the climate change. Eh. But I don't actually remember seeing anything about this in the climate change. Huh. So I wonder if this is actually accurate, though. It might be. It might be. It might be. Um, but anyways, I wanted to see if a meteor, uh, uh, sorry, a comet had crashed yet. Uh, but here's the one thing to think about. So we're playing with eight civs, uh, seven other civs, which means uh, each of them are going to get three cities to begin with. So they're going to have 21 cities. I'm going to have one. So essentially, we have a one in 22 chance if a targeted uh, meteor crashes to die. I think we're just going to come back home. Yeah, but if there's another island, arr, especially if there's like a city state over there, uh, never mind. There's a barbarian encampment right here. Run home. Run home, forest. Run home. Okay, so that's Void Slingers. We're going to want vampires straight up with you. That's actually amazing because that's going to give us faith so we can get our pantheon. Maybe we can get the settler pantheon. Uh, no, you just ended up in the middle of nowhere unless there's land right there. Hmm, huh, interesting. Interesting. Um, Go for fishing boats because we have that unlocked right away. Yes, we have sailing unlocked right away. So, we don't have the money to currently buy another warrior. Hopefully, he doesn't just start surrounding us and destroying us, but... I don't know. We could also grab fishing boats. That probably wouldn't be a terrible pantheon for us. But, I mean, a free settler... Oh, love it, love it, love it. So, keep in mind, that's also going to be a uh, culture bomb. I'm really worried about... Hopefully, the scout went eastward. It kind of looks like he might have, because I feel like he would have scouted us already. So, if we can get there... Before he finds us, I am going to be really happy. <laughs> really, 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 really happy. All right, so that's a 3-1-1 right now. With fishing boats, that would be kind of nice. Um, we don't want to waste you because uh, I want to... If I can get vampires, we're going to immediately grab vampires. And if I can kill him, we can grab vampires. Unless, of course, it's, you know, he doesn't give us the vampires for killing him, but... You know, we're, we're going to kind of just pretend and hope that that doesn't happen. Uh, do we want to scout with you? I think so. Let's just take you through the water. It should be fairly safe. He's not going to spawn a galley yet. We got sun. I'm down with that. We are the first one to meet Bologna. I am down with that as well. I am very much down with that. Okay. What kind of victory type are we going for? <laughs> mm. So it looks like uh, Bologna probably killed then the uh scout is my assumption and we got tundra right there which is kind of good so it kind of looks like we might have settled in the best spot but all right i'm down with this he should attack twice and i should be able to get the kill okay i'm good with this i'm good with this uh we are on a tiny little island it looks to ourselves. that sucks <laughs> do we have a mine potential yeah gypsium 
Should I? Yeah, probably. But at this point, let's just keep scouting. Uh, and like I said, let's get this said, uh, city out. We need a second city just, just in case. If for no other reason than just to keep ourselves alive. All right, so we can't actually uh, kill you, so we're going to wait one turn. Um, I actually don't need you because we're about to hit 25 face, so just give me the plus one production. And yeah, the five combat strength. Please, please, and thank you. Um, so nope, that will not attack and get the kill, so we shall hold off. Let you guys do your kill again. There's the scout, actually. Huh, interesting. I mean, the thing is, we got cartography. So, yeah, as long as there's another island, we're okay. And I, this looks like a very tiny island. I guess we're going to grab early empire, but I hate this. Where's, you like, sorry. Where Where is oligarchy going to be? Like, ugh. Don't kill him. Yeah. So, he would have totally killed him if it wasn't for the, uh, basically, the buff to barbarians when they basically uh, buffed spearmen. So... Cool, thank you, appreciate the arrow score. And I'm gonna go grab you, and there is our vamp. The world is a vampire. So, uh, Sanguine, yes, this is the one we want. Checking, yes, okay, just making sure my mic's working too. Now this is weird. Assign the governor, okay, that, that's weird. I don't know what that means, but sure. Um, so I want you to come kill the scout is kind of the plan here. Plus one population, that is awesome. Uh, well, we found the forest fire. Or the X-Forest fire. This is actually an interesting spot here. Dude, look at that freaking harbor right there. Woo! Nice. Nice. Do we want to come get the gypsum now? Eh, maybe. Settler? Settler? Yes! Oh my god, I never get this anymore. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Alright, so let's just immediately get over there then. I think so. And it doesn't cost us a population either. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Hey, can you get off my tile? <laughs> oh, I hate the end of the turn taking that long because you just know. You just know that there's a comet hitting someone. All right. Is this another little small island? Apparently. Awkward. Do we want to settle over there? I mean, I kind of have to. Another forest fire burning. Oh, my God. Well, you know, if we settle and we get rid of the forest, that's probably better. Well, we could have settled over here and got the floodplain, you know, uh, Pantheon instead. But, I mean, I can't pass up a free settler. I never see that Pantheon either. So, that was 100% because of the bonus faith we got from... What did we get the faith from? Oh, yeah, the relic. So, it looks like the scout died. Which makes me really unhappy and sad all at the same time. Um, I think we're going to go up here just to kind of get a look. I mean, I love the idea of a city here, but I kind of feel like I need a city down here. I mean, like, you're terrible. You're only 1-1. One, one. You're only 1-1, one, one, but you're 3-2 and you're 2-2. Two, two. So I'm kind of liking the idea of settling. But then I wanted to settle here for the harbor. But I can't if it's currently on fire. Which is a very good point. So we might as well do some scouting then. <laughs> right? I need to bring you back home. I, I I do need to use you. So let's start getting you back home, I think. It was a fantastic ah, Alright, so Mount Rama. I have not seen you in a while. And I am... T oh, interesting. So a comet hit right here. But those are some really sexy tiles right now. <laughs> That's a one one three three. I can't work it though, which is unfortunate. But like, oof. Like, what about just putting a city literally right there on the olives? Okay, I'm down with that. And it's freshwater too because these count as freshwater. Now, what's funny is it shows up like you can't settle there, because like I don't know. The game still kind of thinks it's land. I, I don't really know. Do we want to settle there? Yeah, I mean, because the city is gonna keep all the science and the faith and all that. It's not like I really want to work the tile. I mean, the irrigation is going to make us a little bit of extra money, but it's not really that big of a deal. And it's not like I can put a district there. So, And odds are Volk or a comment's not going to hit there again. Probably, maybe, hopefully. So, right? All right, let's go explore a little bit that way then. Uh, I still think we come down here, but let's actually, let's scout through here. Let's kind of do a long pass through, I think. And I'm going to have you on the land. I still want our city here as well. Um, hopefully that'll burn out by the time you're there. I mean, it's 10 turns, right? So, horsies? Horsies? I see no horsies. 
This is the Indian Ocean. Uh, I suppose we could have named that. Right? This is New Zealand. So, you know, we would have started here in the Pacific. And so then maybe we would have named it Indian? Yeah, I mean, I could see that. Hey, can you please get off my goodie hut? <laughs> please? Please? Buddy? Bueller? Bueller? Uh, yo, go. And we can pass through this, so keep in mind. It looks like coast. Uh, I noticed earlier, if I reload the game, then it actually gives the appearance of regular coast. So it only has that weird visual thing right now. Which is good, because until we reload the game, we can actually see where the comets have struck. Um, I want astrology, and we would like a wonder, uh, or sorry, a faith, um, a religion. And part of the reason I think that is, watching the AI Only series, we were kind of assuming that a religion might be extraordinarily powerful. Because if, like, 90% of the cities are going to end up destroyed, having a religion might just make a religious victory really, really easy. And you might be like, oh, well, that's just kind of cheesy. Yeah, you might think that, but when 90% of your cities are going to die, it's more about living, you know, and less about, you know, how you live and win, okay? So, if if cheese it might be, then cheese it shall be, or something like that. Another Goody Hut, dude. What? Dude, this crazy in the Goody Huts. Wasn't there one up here, too? Barbarians. Where's my vamp? He's here. Uh, Beowulf. I would not mind Beowulf. We're going to need a monument to make that work. Now, I think Bologna is keeping vision on all this, so let's go send you over here, please. And then, yeah, you're coming here. You're going to be able to land next turn. Uh, there's literally nothing for us to work, I think. Uh, another barbarian. Okay, so let's go bring you back, then. I think we got good vision. Oh, uh, there's actually someone right here. Before Saladin. Well, that's not good for getting a religion. Uh, we're still going to settle there. I don't care. I can't pass the towel up, dude. Mm -mm. So I need you to be friendly with me. He likes people. Wants to have his worship building. Following other religions. So until I actually get my religion, we should probably be friendly. So hopefully we can just be friendly with him. Yeah. Yeah. So I think next city we want up there. Dude, that seems like a really awkward spot for you. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he's going to not like that. I honestly... There's part of me that should have waited to settle it. Actually, negative two already. Uh, but we have early empire coming in 15 turns, which is going to give us a governor policy. So we should be okay. Um, 30 turns on the monument. The thing is, the city is just going to grow. We just need to keep working the food. Yeah, like, I need to buy. I need to make sure I have all these tiles. And in fact, we got money. So, yeah, let's work that right away. So, that's giving us decent production and decent growth now. And then work the builder. Yeah, but, like, I can't do lumber mills, right? I could build a mine here. I almost feel like I want a warrior just because I'm slightly concerned about him not liking us. But the monument might not be a bad idea either because then we could grab Beowulf. And Beowulf plus the monument will just keep us alive. So this should have been his third city, I think. Right? He doesn't actually hate us. He's not uh, unhappy with us. Yeah, he has three cities right now. Interesting. What's our combat at? So technically I have three warriors because I got the vampire. So I think he's probably gonna be fine with me. I gotta I gotta leave that encampment right now. And I gotta bring you this way just on the off chance. And hey, can you please like move? <laughs> Still, please. You can you can take this I tile. There you go. Astrology. But then he moved the other guy. Oh my god, just get out of the way. Please, sir. Please. 16 turns. You're now losing 5.9. His city just grew. Uh, so we're going to want another city then this way. Yeah, or up here or something. We're going to want a city that puts some loyalty on you. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I can do pro-loyalty, right? No, not yet. <laughs> Watch us lose because, you know, our capital gets exploded by, barbar uh, by a comet, and then the city just flips. <laughs> uh, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, 
So actually, you know what? Now that I thought about it. No, I can't harvest food. What am I not allowed to harvest? Jason, resources cannot be harvested. So I can't harvest food then. But you can chop woods. Okay. Well, if I had rainforest, I could harvest that. And by harvest, chop it. Hmm. Yeah, so he's denouncing me. So we might be looking at a war here. Maybe. He can't really get to us. So not so concerned about that. I'm more concerned about the flip. What did... Wait, that gave us a scout. Dang. Crap. So where do we want this city? I want it... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or do we want to come over here... If I go here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pretty sure loyalty makes it 9 turn, uh, nine tiles. Loyalty. Pretty sure it goes 9 tiles. Citizens. Base pressure 1 within 9 tiles. 10% less effective. So it's actually 90% less effective. I actually can't settle there. Why can't I settle there? Maybe because it's burning? I bet you it's because it's on fire. So let's go this way, and I'm still trying to see what's over here. We got 15 turns there. Early Empire, though, at 14 turns is a little too slow for us. I need, I need, I need more culture right now, game. So what about knocking the monument out real quick? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. And then you're coming here, and I don't have 90 gold right now. That's fine. Uh, no, I'm literally not paying you all of no my gold. Ever so we're just going to actually go move you around here just for defensive purposes. I'm just debating about potentially putting a city here just for loyalty reasons. And okay, let's also get you going over here. And then, yeah, you just got to skip because I don't really have a use for you. This is a very awkward start. Very awkward start. It was great until we discovered Saladin right there. <laughs> then it was like, oh, this is awkward. Uh, masonry would be great because I would love some walls here. Now, I am slightly concerned about just losing all the production here, but eh, eh, eh. What if we get a Dark Age, too? That's the other potential issue here. We shouldn't get a Dark Age because of cartography, but who knows? Should have actually just taken you in the water. That would have actually just been the smartest move. Okay, so there's a lake right here. So this is where we got to settle. Mm -hmm. I got to get right here. And then I need you just around as quickly as possible. And then we're just going to defend the crap out of the city. Okay. And then you're going to go find some other people for us to meet. So I still don't have 90 gold yet. Although we're making decent wonders. Or decent money. Sig. Okay, that's fine. Uh, since it's hitting coast, it shouldn't destroy the reef. It shouldn't destroy any of the water resources. It did destroy the one uh, land tile there. But in the scheme of things, not that big of a deal. Really, just made a souped up coastal tile. Uh, scary thing is the fact that my settler was right there. But, you know, hey, hey, hey. Do we want to land on you? It's a good question. I kind of actually like the idea of here. I can't harvest it. And I don't really want to farm it because, like, bleh, who cares about farming? So 12 turns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, yeah, I figured you weren't close enough, but just wanted to double check. And getting inside the city is not going to help us, loyalty-wise. So we got six turns there. This is fine. Uh, what we actually need is we need a meteor to come and whack Arabia. Uh, and by a meteor, I mean a comet. That would be nice. Just blow up one of the cities. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be great. That would be just 10 of 10 for us. Okay, so we have enough gold. Go. It went up to 95 because, of course, it did. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Hey, remember when we did low sea level? We did do low sea level, right? Not high. Because it really feels like we did high. Really feeling like we did high. She's so high, 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 high above me. She's so lovely. Okay, so I just want to kind of get nearby. I don't think he's threatening. Like, I don't... Like, really all I have to do is put the warrior here. And we're safe. Is this changing this at all? 5.9? 5.9? No. Are we going to survive? Well, okay, so this should be like, what, 4.9 once you get the, um... When wasteful. Um... 
once you grow. And then this other city should grow eh, kind of fast. This is just gonna stay at 2-1. Maybe I should go here just so I can work this. Yeah, I actually think that's what we wanna do. I think we go here. Just so I can grow a little bit quicker with our farm. I'm gonna need a uh, um can I work this without irrigation? Yeah, you can build farms. You just can't build uh, 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 the irrigation stuff. Yeah, yeah. Dude, how have we not met anyone else? What the hell? <laughs> My god. Yeah, we're too strong for him. Yeah, that's why he's not declaring war. Slightly concerned here with the error score. We're still fine, though. We're actually full loyalty now. Oh, <gasps> What happened? We hit size 2 and immediately our loyalty issues went away. Interesting. Yeah, I was not expecting that, but okay. So, yeah, you come over here and let's get a farm going. I mean, I really want the sugar, the rice, whatever that is, but don't really have an option right now. So, we found Himiko. Love it. We're on a different coast. Good. Uh, would love to settle over there as well. Um, kind of down with getting a settler here right away. I think so. Uh, unless we want to devote... We could devote to, like, Beowulf and just wreck him. Like, Beowulf is what? How much combat strength right now? He's at 34. Not as strong as I thought. Would we rather have Beowulf or Sun? I mean, Sun's nice because he can just sit here and pillage him to death. Oh, yeah, we need our holy site, too. That's actually what we need. So I can get my religion. No one has a religion yet. Okay. Um, I'll put you here, because, like... Yeah, you're going there. I'm going to put you there. Because then if the comet comes and crashes, it's going to, you know, kill my city. If it kills the holy site, it kills the city. <sighs> And, well, here's the thing. We can always decide in six turns and then just build it out from here. I think that's probably our option then. Uh, let's put you on there just to be safe. And then Mr. Vampire. Man, I don't want to explore, but I kind of want to explore. So, I don't know. I'm in this weird spot right now. Actually, maybe go send you up over here. I might be okay now. I mean, he clearly is threatened by me and doesn't want to go to war. And I'm also two turns away from getting basically whoever else I need. So, we might just be fine. Oh, uh, let's grab a slinger. This is like the exact opposite of how I want to play. <laughs> Wait, I can promote you right away? No. Okay. I was like, uh, what? What? Uh, so we'll go grab Magnus for now, even though we don't have a use for him. And then, I, it really doesn't matter. I mean, foreign trade's not a bad thing. Get some roads through here. Yeah, I wouldn't hate it. Wouldn't hate it. But for now, it is what it is. So, let's actually take you up here. Still on fire. Interesting. And these tiles are... Okay, so we didn't really consider this before. But if you just have all the tiles burn incessantly, they're just going to give you ridiculous yields. Okay. Alrighty then, I think we're just gonna go throw a city there then. <laughs> and have fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that more important than a religion? Uh, depends. So we don't really want to land uh, simply because we're so much faster in the water. So very much would love to stay in the Zewada. Uh, would we rather have you or you? You. You already have two food, so. Please. Um, and then we're just going to keep exploring. Basically, we're just trying to see what we can find. Okay, you come up here. Maybe I could get the point there, but I really want to clear this out so I can get a city up there. Yeah. What river is that? The Waiu? That sounds like a Mari city. So hopefully that's the case. Dude, did I not do high sea level? Or sorry, low sea level? Like, what the heck? Also, we still have not seen that many comets. Although I guarantee you there's a lot more that we just haven't seen. Ooh, another good hit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, murder. Good. 
Good, 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 good. Can I? I still can't land on it. I think you can't land on cities that are burning. So I think it has to, like, finish burning. How long has that one been burning for, though? Since turn five. <laughs> okay, that's a little more than ten turns. You know what? I wonder if I bump the heal down to ten turns, and so what's happening is it's just catching fire before it fully heals? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Uh, but it's fun. It's crazy. This is definitely just like straight chaos mode. Just straight chaos mode. Although it doesn't seem that chaotic, most of it's just because we can't see the chaos that is currently existing in this map. I should just play with, like, the vision on. Interesting, another goodie hut. Kind of surprised that he didn't find that one yet. Ah, shoot. That's bad. Yeah, because he's going to shoot me. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a hard time taking that. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Slinger, four turns, four turns. Hopefully, the Slinger finishes in time. If not, you should grow, hopefully. 20 more faith. Don't really need the faith. Unless, of course, we want to buy... Where was that? Where was that? That was scary. Where's the Barbarian? I have no idea. Oh, right there. Ooh, maybe you can ninja it. Don't shoot me. Dang it. So, we gotta run away so you don't die. Although you won't die, you'll just go to 1 HP. Still, quite annoying. Very quite annoying. And that's all because they decided to um, buff the power of barbarians by giving spearmen more power. Cool. That's what everyone was excited for, is more barbarian strength. Uh, I don't really want to go there next to the volcano, but we're gonna do it anyways. God, how am I get? You know, we might just have to land a city, and we might have the. I think we can, if we have a settler like right here. I think we can just land and put down the city, and that would get rid of the encampment at least. Hopefully, there wouldn't be too many bad guys there. Uh, the other option would be you actually slow down. Hey, you're supposed to be done before archery. What? How? What? You know what? It's because you were working the one three before. Yeah, now you went to the 3 1. Uh, I'm fine with that. And you'll be like 90% of the way there for a archer, and I think we'll have to live with that. Uh, okay. Parker wants to play. Sorry, girl. Daddy's working. Not right now. Go rest. Go take a nap. The funny thing is, we played. We did a lot of play before this, so. Oh, you know what? Bellwiff would actually help us. Yeah, let's just get Beowulf, because we can just immediately destroy whoever's there. I like that. I like that. Beowulf's really good. I really like him. He's maybe one of my favorite. Um, may want to use the vampire to get some kills, but we're going to want City going here sooner rather than later, too. What did you give me? I actually don't know what you gave me. New Barbarian Outpost. All right, well, at least we're ready for that one. Too bad the vampire is up here. Not anywhere close to help. But we do have a slinger. Um, should we switch off of that for a potential kill? Sure. I mean, it's only going to save me one turn. At this point, no. All right, another good barbarian encampment. Okay, then. And this was Nazca. Are we the first to meet you? Yes, we are. All righty, then. Very strange. Very strange. We probably want to stop exploring right now. Uh, just because we want to wait for the next era. Because uh, we don't want to meet anyone left this era. So archery is done. You're going to be done in one turn. And then we're good there. And you're just going to come here and get ready to kill him. Um, but we probably got to heal after this. So and then same thing here. Go and attack. And probably got to heal after that. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. I know I said we were going to make this a one-off, but um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think, I think we're going to just come back tomorrow and play some more because I really want to see more of the chaos and we're just not really getting a good picture of the chaos right now. So um, I think we'll wrap it up here and then tomorrow we'll come back and we should be able to see some more of the meteors and stuff like that. And in fact, you know what? Let's just do this real quick. I'm going to cheat real fast. Although I should have saved first of all just reload the turn. Um, but anyways, I don't really want to look at this. But how many comments have I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. There's been a lot of comments then. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So there's one on turn three, one on turn four. Forest fire. Flood. Comet strike. Comet strike. 
Flood, Comet Strike, yeah, okay. There's been plenty. Has anyone lost a city? Uh, yes, actually. Geneva, oh, we lost the city-state. Nope, Geneva's still up. They're still up. Okay, so it killed people, but didn't actually kill anyone. Okay, I saw Geneva, and my brain thought it was Babylon, because I always mix those up. And I was like, oh no, Babylon's gone. <laughs> uh, Cairo, it looks like uh, Kazakhstania. That's the location, but I think Cairo maybe lost the city. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't really want to pay too much attention to this. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.